become a high value woman, you absolutely need to be doing these three things. Now, spoiler alert, it has nothing to do with the designer bags in your closet, the degrees on your wall, the money in your bank account, and it's also more than just what you look like. No, being a high value woman is a lifestyle. It's a way of living. And if you're not doing this, then unfortunately you cannot claim that title. I don't make the rules. Well, I guess I kind of do. Okay, so the first thing a high value woman does is she is, ooh, she is comfortable shifting into her feminine energy and she doesn't look at it as a weakness. And when I say feminine energy, I'm not talking about being submissive. I'm talking about being warm, sensual, receiving, nurturing, being affectionate, and letting other people take the lead. Which brings me to number two. High value women practice self care because they understand that if you want to nurture someone else, you have to nurture yourself first. When I say self care, I'm not talking about getting eyelash extensions. I'm talking about taking care of your health. Like, are you going to the gym? Are you eating healthy foods? Are you meditating? Are you sleeping eight hours? Because self care is self respect, and the most respected women are the ones who respect and prioritize themselves. Which brings me to number three. A high value woman not only knows her worth, but she also upholds her standards. For example, she doesn't ignore red flags. She doesn't accept the bare minimum. She's not going over to just any guy's house because it's the only guy asking her out. She also doesn't date low value men or act maliciously toward other women because these types of women move through life with an air of grace. Follow for more advice and comment if you want to see part two. <laughs> Long she drives the and she takes photos. Yeah. as well. <laughs> it's the angles. It's all about the angles. So, so you do boudoir. Boudoir, yeah. Boudoir. Boom. I would have understood boudoir. that. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, today's topic. Do modern women deserve respect? Now, what made me what made me think of this topic, all right, was I was thinking. Do people deserve do women deserve respect just for being women? No. No. Nope. What do you so let's go here, go around. I know we had some initial reactions. <laughs> let's start here and then go around and say why. Before everyone makes a standpoint on the question, I will also like to give my opinion on whether a woman should be respected in modern society or not. But before we proceed, please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel because YouTube promotes videos with more likes and subscribers. I can tell you that every human being, regardless of their gender, deserves to be treated with respect and dignity. Respect is a fundamental human right and is essential for building healthy relationships and society. Women, like men, are entitled to respect, equal opportunities, and freedom from discrimination based on their gender. It is important to promote gender equality and work towards creating a society where everyone is treated with respect and given equal opportunity. I personally think not. Um, I think women nowadays tend to be like, very feminist focused you know what i mean they don't be thinking about the men which like understandable we're women we think about ourselves that's that's just life in my opinion um i think with everything that's going on in the world and everything that they're expecting a lot from men a lot of respect for men when they're not bringing anything they just think you know what he has money he's gonna have me because of what i bring to the table but what do you bring to the table absolutely nothing you bring personality and that's about it that's why i feel like most of the women nowadays can bring. Mm -hmm. um, women who are out here, like, run their own business stuff like that, like, go for you. Like, I understand that you're bringing other stuff to the table then, like, build an empire together. That's fine, no problem. But for the women who don't have stuff like that... And you think men care about if women are no, building it? Yeah, don't give a fuck. They, they don't give a shit. <laughs> they don't care about that. Um, but for women, I feel like women really think that men care that they have to have something, you know? when it, it, That's not the truth at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think? I see you thinking over there. She's like, she's not. Uh, um, I feel like. So try to speak into your mic, just you know. I feel like women don't do not deserve respect off the bat. I feel like you need to earn the respect. Um, however, I feel like a certain level of respect should be given to you, sort of immediately, mm. um, because you cannot respect someone if they do not respect you. Mm. So I then feel like, if a man doesn't give you a certain level of respect. You can't respect him back and there's not really going to be any respect in that scenario. Mm -hmm. And that's all I'm going to say. Can I comment on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think that, see the way, like you're saying, like if a man can give, do you not think it's like the other way around? In general, everyone, men and women, the respect should be there straight away. Yeah. If, if you're focused with that person more, you obviously get more respect put into you. But I feel like with women, it's kind of like, why would I give him respect when he's done this, that, and the other? But they've done this, that, and the other, and they're expecting the respect straight away, straight off the bat. And women like, don't do that most times. I feel like generally, um, women tend to respect men 
more sorry women tend to respect men more than men tend to respect women off the bat you think most women respect men I like wouldn't most say women most. Respect the I'm gonna be. Guy. I'm gonna be careful with my words here because I wouldn't say no. Most women don't mm-hmm. respect the, the the average guy, but I feel like more women respect men than men would respect women off the bat. Mm-hmm. Um, what makes you say that? I'd say that it's more like I feel like women need men more than men sort of need women. Mm-hmm. So women are willing to give respect immediately or give Mm -hmm. trust immediately Mm -hmm. rather than the man trying to give it to the woman Mm -hmm. because men I feel like men sort of want to explore different women so so if that's if that's true like why do we have phrases in society like men are trash men are the problem men stupid men men are dumb men are idiots yeah I feel (laughs) but we don't have like you know I mean well in my space of YouTube women are whores is a bit common but in the general public and media it's it's really not and even even on the train like you'll see um things that are signs that call men predators on the tube here it's wild um I'd say I think our general society as a whole right now is failing. Mm. I think you can say a lot of women are whores Mm -hmm. and a lot of men are trash. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're in a society now that is favoring like prostitution, Mm -hmm. like modern prostitution Mm -hmm. to the point where it's like women are not even committed to this guy. They just want this guy for money. And this man wants this girl just because of her body or her face. Mm -hmm. Like people are not actually loving each other for who they are as a person anymore do you think that's ever happened yeah i feel like the thing is i don't like generalizing mm-hmm. because i feel like everyone's different so mm-hmm. I, I i feel like there's relationships out there where they don't care about how the other person looks mm-hmm. they care about that person as that person mm-hmm. like how that person acts how that person mm-hmm. is like how that person makes them feel some people just generally want women for status mm-hmm. and for that power you, wait you think pe- who just again some you, so you men, men, some gener- women. men want women for status and power uh, some men yeah some okay. men. do you think that's the majority well i will agree with the fact that some men want women for status and power But come to think of it, in our modern society today, before a man can even venture into a relationship or even think of having a family, he must have made up with all the requirements set aside by modern women. I would have firmly agreed with her if what she meant by status and power referred to how pretty the woman is or the number of children she would bear for the man. Not like, that is what I will consider as status and power from a woman but when you look at it from a traditional perspective, you will as well confirm with me. I agree with you on status, I don't know about power. I wouldn't say majority, mm-hmm. um, but I'd say, I'd probably say more, I wouldn't say high value men, but men that s- perceive themselves as high value mm-hmm. would mm-hmm. rather have a woman of sort of higher status or, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say status, I probably think status isn't the right word, but mm-hmm. sort of would you, would, Are you still going to say that you would say the majority of women respect most men or respect more men than men do women? Because that was the initial question. Yeah. Um, that I asked, not the... And do high-value men need housewives, traditional women, and stay-at-home mothers, or do they need women of status and power? What I think is that high-value men look for submission in their type of women, not competition. General, yeah. Again, I think I maybe might have, re- mm-hmm. I might have phrased that a bit wrong. Mm-hmm. I feel like women seek out men, like need men more than men would say they need women. Yeah, that's I think true. that's sort of what I was trying to say okay. there. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. Okay, so just to restate, because we didn't went down our rabbit hole a little bit. Yeah. Um do do women deserve respect just for being women? Correct. Okay. So um I think yes, not just because they're women though, but because we should all give a basic level of respect to anybody that we're meeting. Not because mm-hmm. they're just women or men. We should respect each other, period. So yes. Okay. What do you think? Um, I don't think they should get it just for being women. I think, as Lauren said, it's just for being a person. Um, and you should respect them until they give you a reason not to respect them, such as maybe they don't respect themselves and they don't carry themselves in a great way. So maybe your respect level would go down for them. And that's okay because that's your judgment on them. Okay. Yeah, um, respect to me is just, it's, it's genderless. Um, you know, I think everybody deserves a... Um, you know, de- deserves respect, and it's all about what are you doing to um, remove respect off of the actions that you that you take. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I think the better question is, 
what 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 we what we defining as respect? Like, is it, what is it, respect, disrespect, value? Like, uh, that's why I'm confused. That because like, shit, a dog deserves respect. So I, I don't think you supposed to just disrespect nobody. Mm -hmm. But like, what type of respect? I guess my question is more: is respect given or is it earned? Hold it. What I think is, respect can be both given and earned, depending on the context and situation. In some situations, respect is given automatically to someone based on their position, such as a teacher, parent, or elder. In these cases, respect is given out of deference to their authority or experience, be it a man or woman. However, in many situations, respect must be earned through one's actions and behavior. For example, a person who consistently demonstrates honesty, integrity, and kindness is likely to earn respect from others. Similarly, a person who achieves great things through hard work and determination may earn respect for their accomplishment. In these cases, respect is not given automatically, but rather earned through one's actions and behavior. This type of respect is based on an individual's character and merits, and is often more meaningful and long-lasting than respect that is given automatically based on a person's position. It is worth noting that regardless of whether respect is given or earned, it is important to treat everyone with basic human dignity and kindness. Even if a person has not earned your respect, they still deserve to be treated with respect as a fellow human being. However, respect can be both given and earned, depending on the context and situation. While some people may receive respect automatically based on their position or authority, respect based on character and merits must be earned through one's actions and behavior. Regardless of whether respect is given or earned, it is important to treat everyone with basic human dignity and kindness. Uh, I think it's both. Mm -hmm. You get a basic level of respect just mm -hmm. for being a human, you know what I'm saying, and for not disrespecting me. Like, if you don't disrespect me, I'm going to respect you because you respect me. Mm -hmm. But if you disrespect me, then it's fuck you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Melanie, what do you think? Um, I, I think uh, restate the question because I, I like I lost like the do women. <laughs> do women deserve respect for being women? No. Like, cause you're born with a vagina. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, I mean, it's just human anatomy, and a lot of women fight for. They say, respect me for my mind, respect me for my accomplishments, and we're just as equal as men. But then at the same time, they'll say because I'm a woman born with a vagina i deserve respect it's like it's it's a dichotomy it's like double-minded and it's illogical like you have to earn respect like if you are everybody's not going to get the same level of respect i do think there's a for human nature yes but i think women want a respect that they do not give to men i think respect might be the wrong word yeah. maybe women look to be valued i do do you want to be valued just because you're a woman well i think what the question is getting at is there's so many modern women today that just call themselves a queen for existing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you give participation yeah, you trophies just based off of you having uh, a, a, Don't say viscous a, innards. a viscous innards, <laughs> 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 which women. is, which is completely trash. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, uh, and I think like, you know, we have a society that panders to one gender so much. Um, of course it's easy to accept your, particip your participation trophy for being a queen. But if you, you are, if you are a queen and you are, uh, doing unsavory things uh, at, dur during the night, during the street time activity. Huh. I think you deserve less respect for me and to be considering you within a relationship. What would you define as a queen? Like, what do you mean by queen when you say that? Yeah, so like queen is earned, right? Like, so if you think of like the concept of king and queen, you know, um, you know, it is a history within that. Um, I don't think a queen can be a queen without a king. Mm -hmm. mm. I think that it is necessary to have a king first. That's hard. Um, and within that, um, when we live in a culture of men ain't ish, I miss independent, all of this other, all of these other things that continue to put men down. Mm -hmm. um, and then you meet with the unrealistic standards of most, mo most modern women today. There just seems to be, a complete like breakdown of society and the things that are um, important within that. So I think a queen needs to have a king first and oh, foremost, say, so a king but it's can, also behavior. A king can make a queen, but a queen can't make a king ever. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they always try it. Mm. Yeah. And I don't think that if no one don't respect themselves or the people around them, they don't they deserve no respect. And modern women don't deserve no respect for the way they carry themselves, for the way they dress, for the way they talk, for the way they portray themselves on social media. They're lucky that people are talking to them, let alone showing them respect. 
It's almost like we're brainwashed. Yeah. It's almost like we, we've been brainwashed to accept like the, the nastiness of us of society to say, you, okay, it's, it's you're words. doing you you're you're na- you're half naked. Therefore, I like that. And it's just so crazy, it's and, it's, like, and it's so backwards that even dudes like that. Like, I, I, I used to have guy friends in my life that would feel, like, empowered if their girlfriend wanted to go out and be, like, half-naked in the club. And to me, that's just, like, it's so crazy, because that, to me, is not queen behavior. That's mm-hmm. not marriageable material. What do you guys think? Do women? I, I just it? think um, you have to earn it mm-hmm. as a woman. That's my only view on it. Okay, what do you think? I just think if you don't respect the woman, like, it has to be, like, a good reason behind it. And I also think sometimes if someone doesn't respect you, you don't really care. Like, you know, like, if someone doesn't respect you, their opinion don't that maybe even hold weight. That is the problem with society. Weight. You should care. Yeah. You should care. Everybody's I mean, out there with valid. all their boobies out, and somebody's going to say, I don't like you because you're showing all your front, and you're going to say, I don't care what they say because their their opinion don't matter. That's the problem with society because it doesn't care. People don't care what people think about them. You should care. If you're out there and you're acting horrorish and you're looking unladylike and people are commenting and you're trying to get a certain kind of man and people are, like, snagging you off online, you should care. Tone it down. I'm tired of seeing boobies. <laughs> boobies and butts and fannies and everything's out there. I'm sick and tired of seeing it. You also get to choose who you follow and who you don't follow on social media too, though. So I do think, like, you it know... Pops up. I, Titties and bumps yeah, pop up on yeah, mine all course, the time. Of course. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're out there and like you're saying about the question was about respect, how do you expect to get respect when you're out there showing it? You might say, Oh, I don't care, but sooner or later you're gonna come to mm-hmm. that age where it's gonna hit you and you're gonna care and no one ain't gonna give a shit because all your fannies and titties are out there. Yeah, and I say, yeah. so, do you know what? See on that as well. It's mostly women that will push women to do OnlyFans and stuff like that as well. Like, no, girl, go get that bike, go get this. But your man will be like, I don't want you to do that. That's why you that, don't that, listen that's to women. Ma- that, that's, I 100% agree. One million percent. Like, women will push you to be like, go queen, go do that. But at the end of the day, you are losing more respect for yourself by listening to a woman telling you to go out and do that thing that they wouldn't even do themselves. Mm. You know what I mean? It's kind of just pushing your moral just a little bit back. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't say much more of myself. But why do why do, you know. why do women push other women to do sex work and um, promiscuous activity when the first thing that happens when a woman's mad is she calls another girl a, a whore. whore. and a slut. Mm. Yeah, Literally. no, no. And we get so offended by that word as well when that's, it's like... That's because, that's because y'all, don't, have women that's because y'all don't like each other. <laughs> exactly. You yeah. Women yeah. don't yeah. like each other. Y'all no. is the meanest to each other but then get put off on men. Oh, men say this or, or do that. Like, we were talking to this one girl outside in between but the last show. She was talking about getting something done to her body. And the girl body righteous. Like, it's already fine. I'm saying, telling her, like, baby, you ain't got to do none of that. But it's not really, they're not doing it for me and they're doing it for other women. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think it's for the women, though. It's more for the man, it because it's the men that want it. No, it doesn't. No, like, no, no but, but like, like we are big mm. lips no. and, the, and the eyebrows you, you, and the like eyelashes. You were talking about this tissues. society being brainwashed. This yeah. society has been brainwashed to the point where they think that that is normal, I, and they think that is okay. But, but, but actually, here's the thing. I actually, I, agree. I actually agree with you. I think they do do it for the men, but it's like sexual attention. It's not yeah, relationship yeah, exactly. attention. So you can kind of do a cheat code. You can go get a BBL, get a nice body, and you do get more attention from men than if you're flat, right? Mm-hmm. But well, men are the trophy. I understand completely. But one thing to be noted is that men will only say what they wish they had all these fancy-looking ladies, but it is not what they want to spend their whole life with. So, going about swelling your body parts to later blame the consequences on man will only bring or attract attention and not commission from men. But, but here's the thing, though. It's, 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 it's not the no, attention like, you no, want. No, no, but, 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 but listen, though. But it goes so deeper, though, because mm-hmm. I know who you're talking about, and she has a great body. Yeah. See? So you got to mm-hmm. think about how far down deep that she is within mm-hmm. watching the Instagram models, within watching the Cosmopolitan magazine. She not even think she that her she great body it. doesn't look good to a man. And now she wants to enhance it to look like Betty Boop. Mm-hmm. You know, honestly, I think it's because we're lazy as women. We don't want to go to the gym. Mm-hmm. Her work her, out, she's in great shape. Can I just say something? I'm just saying if you want to get better, then you go to the gym. Go ahead. Go ahead. As a flat woman. Okay guys give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as you haven't yet done so. And also like a comment below on your own opinions if a modern woman deserve respect in this our modern society or not.
However, I can tell you on a general perspective that the principle of equal opportunities is based on the idea that everyone, regardless of their gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or any other characteristic, should have the same chances to access education, employment, and other opportunities without facing discrimination or barriers. The aim of promoting equal opportunities is to create a level playing field where everyone can pursue their goals and aspirations based on their abilities and merits. It is important to understand that men and women may have different experiences, needs, and challenges, and that promoting equal opportunities does not mean treating everyone exactly the same. Rather, it means recognizing and addressing the inequalities and biases that exist and providing support and resources to ensure that everyone can achieve their full potential. Stay put on the approaching episode, on Auntie's point of view as a flat. Stay blessed and do not miss out.